Hello there! If you have been following my build, you might have noticed that I missed one part and uh, this is the Z and Z mean switch Z mean sensor and this is basically because I don't know how to do it I didn't know how to do it and I still have no slightest idea about all the small details but well let's sort it out or well, at least let's try to do it uh, basically what is Z um, what is the Z mean switch? This is this block of plastic which has pulley on top and the pulley must be deflanged. Let me explain what it means uh, later. Then you install uh, one of your end switches to the very bottom here and uh, um, yeah and a G stick connector here and that's basically it. So when your um, when your uh, nozzle or tool head presses this thing here, this shot here, it presses the micro switch, voila, you get uh, the head measured correctly. The first thing is deflanging the pulley, and uh, this is basically removing these two flanges. I always thought that these are basically, I don't know, welded shut, but it seems that you can freely Price them off. Let's try to do this. Breaking news, wrong pulling. Yeah, I had to use this, this one. Which is easier because I will have to remove only one flange. Nevertheless, let's try to remove the flange. Oh! That was it. And the pulley is still alive, supposedly. Okay, let's now push the pulley. It seems like the simplest way to pull the pulley in is to hammer it down. Take a look here. If you look carefully, then the shaft is just in the place when the micro switch button is. So basically we don't need the spring here and I can pry it off. Seems like that the micro switch should be a bit deeper, so it should really sink in. And only then you can tighten the mini screws here. Manual now offers to perform a very peculiar procedure. You have to mark a place on your shaft. Let me see if it works by just pressing it in. No, it doesn't. Um, nevertheless, you have to mark a place on your shaft and then make a notch in this place so the shaft doesn't fall off. It sounds very precise operation for me, <laughs> maybe too precise for me to handle, but let's see if I can simplify this somehow. First of all, yeah, the mark. Let's take my diamond vial, insert and turn it a couple times. I should have a scratch on shaft now. Yeah, here it is. So I need to dig in just enough so the grab screw can hold this without locking it in. Tricky. Here yeah, it's stuck. Strangely it's stuck and it cannot go out but still can press the button. I'm amazed. This really works and it's much simpler than I actually thought. We'll need a GST port for this sensor to work. Strangely it has more, much more place for the port maybe. Yeah, maybe let's use a tripping port here. First of all, I had to glue it in. Uh, well, super glue, nothing fancy. Then I had to bend the connectors because otherwise it seems like that um, these connectors could be um, shorting 
the screws and this is something I wouldn't want to. Ah yes, it can be connected. Weird. So, this is the sensor, uh, the main sensor, and it should be installed alongside your bed. And as I will install the bed as a very, very, very last part of the printer. Well, see you later. Bye.